Hi everybody, this is Lorenzo from LorenzoGraphic.com and today I want to show you how to animate an object using Motor in Simo 4D. Let's get started! Here we are in Simo 4D and first of all let's create a new torus object. Then we can select ring radius like 170 by ring segments like 30 and pipe radius like 125 and pipe segments like 30 again right then we can check select the orientation like plus z then we can select ground shading and let's create a new landscape right now this example just resets the landscape object let's go to the sides i will select i will stop 9000 by 9000 and we'll choose for height 350 then with segments like 350 again and depth segments like 136 and row photos and frame photos 50 by 50 percent and scale like 10 all right so if you like we can add a new polygon reduction tool and we can select the landscape object and make us a child of the polygon reduction then select polygon reduction and we can select reduction strength like 98 percent right now uh, for this scene we can select the torus so we can drag on the left of the landscape we can drag a little bit right now we need to if we do like we can copy this object and is if we do like we can add a new atom array object select the polling reduction and make us a child of the atom array object all right now we have created the scene we can select subdivision like 5 and speed radius like 2 by 2 I will add the material in this case for for the landscape I will use the blue material now let's go to the simulate menu dynamics and we can select motor all right drag the motor on the torus object all right then we can select the torus object and we can drag and drop into the object a tab as you can see the motor is a dynamic object that moves a rigid body with linear or angular force so as you can see the default type is like angular all right now we can just drag on the center part of the torus the motor now we need to make uh, dynamics the torus object so right click let's go to the simulation text and we can select soft body all right now if would you like we can go to the boat body and we can make some adjustment for example we can stop the dumping like uh, for example 10 by elastic limit like 150 percent and for other option we can leave the default settings all right now we need to make we need to create a, a collider body so right click on the landscape let's go to the simulation tags and we can choose collider body then let's go to the collision tab in this case let's go to the inner tag and we can choose apply tag to children and individual elements we can select top lever or all for example all right now increase the frames like 300 frames we can just start all right i'm sorry now we need to uh, drag the collider body on the polygon reduction tool right so as you can see the torus object hit the ground 
All right. So, would you like we can rotate this pin of the motor? In this case, I will rotate this like 180 degrees. As you can see, we can think the motor as a force for your object that will make them spin or hit another collider object, as in our case, the torus object will hit the ground collider. All right. So now we need to make some adjustment. You would you like hit the ground? All right. All right. So as you can see, we have a problem. The torus object don't hit the ground. To solve this problem, we need to go on the collider object and we need to choose shape like static mesh. Alright, now, as you can see, the torus object hit ground. Increase the angular target speed, like 6000 degrees. Alright. Right now we can add the material on the on the torus and then if would you like we can create a new target camera we need to select target camera and then if would you like we can drag and drop the torus on the target object tab all right as you can see the camera follow the torus object Now we can make some adjustment. Now I want to follow the torus object from the camera. To do this, click the middle mouse button and then we can zoom out the scene. All right. So we can select camera, select zero frame and add a new frame. Then then we can start the animation. So as you can see the torus object on the ground. Then we can drag the camera near the torus object you can drag a little bit and make some adjustment start the animation then you can select the camera and drag a little bit near the the torus object all right zoom in a little bit and make some adjustment and then we can add a new keyframe Alright, so as you can see, the camera will follow the object for entire animation. Alright. Then make some adjustment. You can drag a little bit, you can add a new keyframe, we can add it a little bit in animation. All right. All right. Add new frame. All right, then let's create a new physical sky. So now let's go to render settings and we can set up the rendering of the animation. Let's go to the optute and we set up the HDTV. Then let's go to the frame range and we'll choose all frames, zero to 
300 frames we can select move format like move or AV movie let's go to the effect tab we can add ambient occlusion then we can add the global illumination let's go to the global illumination I'll, I will choose record density like low and same boost like low again all right now let's go to the anti-analyzing I will choose best settings this is really important we can increase the gamma like 1.5 we'll try the first render alright if you would like we can increase the details of the torus object is we need to add of the scene the new subdivision surface so we can select torus then let's create a new subdivision surface object and we can select torus and drag and drop into the subdivision surface so as you can see we have increased the details of the torus object right now we can start the render Can, we can stop the camera and drag a little bit then start to render again <coughs> alright thanks for watching and please subscribe for more tutorial like this